everybody. Um, Artisan Loom here with another tutorial of an original design of mine I did 49 weeks ago. And it's called the Elizabeth. And I absolutely love this one. Um, I did, it's, it's elegant. Maybe it's the brooch that makes it that way. I don't know, but I just absolutely love it. Um, let's see here. Um, the center part is not going to be looped. So, I suggest using a tight band there, like an LE. It's going to be a little lifted up, but when you put a bead on it, and you probably should put some sort of bead on it um, so that it doesn't just kind of hang out there. But um, so I'm telling you this up front. So um, I went ahead and beaded some up for that, and I beaded some border bands, and I'm going to choose a different color palette here. So I just wanted to show you what that looked like. Okay, this is the loom board set up. It's a five pin bar design. Your first two and your last two are at the same height. Then you drop down one in the center and we're gonna do full, two full loom lengths long. Okay, so go ahead and get your bands and your beads ready and, and we'll go ahead and get started. Back. Okay. So, for the border, obviously, I'm a jet black cylindric type of gal. So, I'm going to use these for my border. And they're also going to be the color of my crossband because I want to tie in the black with whatever you use on the border. It'd be nice if you could tie it in as your crossband going across. So, right now, all we're going to do is just do our simple border just like this and plain bands okay and then uh, let's see here I went ahead and beat it up some bands and I put a 6-0 gold seed bead onto the band and we're gonna do every other get some more black bands um, we're gonna do every other band will be a beaded band like in almost every one of my tutorials. So we're gonna do a plain band and we'll do the beaded band. Plain band. Beaded band. Okay, same thing on this one. Plain beaded. Plain. And beat it. Okay, so do that all the way down to the end of the leg. So once I get done with these, okay, all the way to the top, now I'm going to take, I'm going to use Egyptian gray because it has that hint of gold. And that's what I'm going to use. And basically, we're going to do this little number all the way down the loom, just to, right here. Very super simple. And we're going to do this part the entire way down the loom on both sides. Just like this. Mirror image on both sides. So we're going to do that to the very end. Right. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to continue on with the same color. You can choose to do a different one, but I think... The same color would make it nice. And we're going to do some triangles, okay? But we're going to alternate going in different directions, I do believe. So to start off, you're going to go make this triangle, okay? Make sure you push your bands down too. So this is the triangle that you're going for. The next one will be a right side up triangle, like that. Okay, then the next one will go this, this triangle, and the next one will go like that. Okay, so we're just alternating just like this the entire way down the loom. Okay, I set it on this side. Now we're going to start on this left side. Let me grab some more bands. And we are going to start off with this triangle going this direction. 
just like that. It's the mirror image on the other side. And then we're going to do it going up. Okay. And then I do believe the next one is going like that. And then up. Well, I say it up. I mean the meaning this point is go is going up. So this one will go hold on. Or maybe that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Okay. Like that. Go up. Like that. Okay. So it just looks confusing because of the way I use the same color bands. So go ahead and finish this. What your loom should look like. All the way to the end. If you have any confusion, you can go back and watch it from the beginning of that step. Okay, at this point, I went ahead and beaded up my cross bands that are going to go, go over, and I took a 60 seed bead that was like, I don't know, like that clear glassy looking, and then I put a little spacer bead in the center. And that's what I'm going to use. Ellie is probably the better thing to use because it's a little more tight. You don't want to use a loose band. And if you do use a looser band, you definitely need beads. I would put beads on either way. I just think it it needs beads. Okay, so these will go. So you're going to skip this one. You're going to go up to this next one. And that's going to be your first one that goes across. Okay, just like that. Okay, now you're going to skip one and do one. So you're always going to skip one, and then it starts here. Skip one, do one. And that's what you're going to do the entire way down. Okay, so now whatever your center color is going to be, what did I choose? I'm going to use glitter gold as my center color. Okay, and this is what we're going to do. Make sure I get that. Okay, sorry, I'm talking to myself again. Okay, you need good quality stretchy bands for this as well. Basically, any design you do for me, you need good quality stretchy bands. Okay, so we're going to do a long stretch there. And then a long stretch there. I don't know why I don't work left to right. I always seem to work right to left. But anyhow, no big deal. So you're going to put one from right to left, or from center to the right, center to the left. And then you're going to put... Then you're going to go from the left to the center. I don't think it matters. It's just no rhyme or reason to it. Then you'll do a small stretch. Okay. And now you'll continue to do this again. And for some reason, I've... You know what? Okay, let's see. Okay, well, I'm just going to, I I was working from right to the left with this, but then on all the other ones I started from the left, so it's there's no rhyme or reason, but just to make it so it's not confusing for you, let's do, the, let's start from this left side first. So we'll do the long stretch like that. It doesn't really matter, but. Okay, just like that. And then you're going to start back here in the center and do another long stretch. And then to the center. Okay. 
long stretch and then short to the center okay and do that the entire way down I'm done with the center part but now I'm seeing where I'm stopping right here and I'm wondering if I don't need to bring these to the border okay um, let's see here Let me just see here. I think that's what I'm going to do since I stopped here. I think what I'm going to do is just do a small stretch over. Okay. Just to make sure it gets over to the border. If we don't need it when I turn the, the loom around, um, I'll take it off. Because in my original rendition, you see how we started at the beginning? There's a it comes across and comes to a point. I wanted it to be the same on this side. And so in my rendition, it showed that I came all the way up here and then came down and did my border. But I wanted it to have the point so it would be mirror image. So therefore, I came up here. and So it's slightly different. So I'm not sure how this is going to play out. So just put, go ahead and put a cross band right there and there. Um, and then we'll figure it out once we turn the loom all okay, right, so that's the last band placement. So now we're going to turn our loom around. <clears throat> and you're going to need two cat bands, one here and one here. So I'm going to put a triple cat band right there. I'm going to untwist this one and then get a triple cat band right there. Okay, so now we're ready to loom it up. Okay, so what we're going to do is, well, hold up a minute, peeps. All right, all right, I think I got it. So, we're going to go in through these cap bands. So, since this band is on top, we're going to go in through this cap band and bring it back to itself towards the center, and this one back to itself towards the center. Okay? Now, I realize that this is on, these two bands are on top, okay? But that's not what we're wanting to get. We're going to grab the bottom long stretch bands first, and then we're going to do these. So what we're going to end up doing is, let me see. Well, shoot. I'm trying to see what my pictures are showing. Okay. Actually, you know what? Don't listen to that. We're going to go into here and loop these up first. Okay, so we'll go into the center, grab that top band, make sure you're getting through all of them, and go out to the left, get that one, and go out to the right. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and grab this long stretch. Okay, so I'm going to go in, grab it, and bring it to the center. Go into this one, grab it, and pull it to the center, just like so. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in through this where it meets and loom out, just so happens to be this one on top, loom out these small stretches. Okay. And then we're going to go pop down back here, since this one is on top of this one. We're going to just go in and grab this one and bring it to the center. Oops. Bring it to the center. Okay. So at this point, let me make sure that I have this to where, that's probably why. I want to kind of get it to where you can see up above a little bit. Okay, so now that we're in the center, we're going to loop out these um, side ones first. Well, you know what? I don't know why this is showing. Okay, so. Hmm. Let me just look here and see what I got going on. Okay. So, at this point, what we're going to start doing is, from what I'm seeing on my pictures, okay,
Hmm. As we are going to grab Okay, we're going to grab this long stretch from here on out. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to place these two back on. Sorry about that. I think I'm going to place these two back on. Okay, no big deal. We didn't get far, so it's not going to kill us. And then I'm going to place this one back. And then I'm going to place this one back. And what we're going to do from here on out, because this was just for the first little bit, from here on out, this is how we're going to loop it. Well, geez, doesn't want to loop properly. We're going to grab the bottom long stretch first and then the short stretches. What I just took apart was us doing the, low, the small ones and then the large ones. So we're going to go in through here after we get this to the center here. We're going to go here and we're going to go towards the center, towards the center. Okay, now you see how this still needs to be looped up, both of these on these sides. You're going to go through the center and you're going to grab this one and bring it back to itself. Okay, and then since this band is on the bottom of this band, we're going to, but it's on the top of this band, we're going to grab this one first. So we're always going to go in through the left and then go through the right. If you followed my band placement, you go left and then you'll go right and then you'll go into the center and then loop it back out to itself. Okay. Not sure if it matters, but it might by from the look of the finished look. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I've only made this bracelet once and I'm just going by what I did in my pictures. So um instead of looping these two out we're going to loop the long stretches first so we'll go into here to the center to the center and then drop down and then do the small stretches okay that's how we're going to do it just like that so long stretch long stretch short stretch short stretch so go ahead and finish that all the way down to the end of the loom, please. Yeah, finish that part. Now what we've got to do, just make sure you push your bands down. Um, we're doing these triangles, how they're all different. Um, yeah, we're doing the triangles, the ones we alternated going up. So what you're going to do is you're, you're going to go in from this peg and grab this end of it. You're going to pull it out to give it a little, just a little bit of a stretch and you're going to bring it back to itself. Okay, so the next triangle is right here. So we're going to go in through this peg. We're not going to loop up these um, black cross bands that we have placed every third one. Um, those are just going to remain just like that, but you'll go in through those and grab the other, this other triangle in this corner right here. Okay, stretch it out a little bit and then bring it back over to itself. That's why I'm saying it has to be good quality stretchy bands. Okay, we're always going to go in through this peg and through this peg because they need to be looped out towards the border so everything catches. So we've got this one, we've got that one. Now we're going to go into here and this is the triangle right here. So we're going to go in through here and grab this one, give it a little bit of a stretch and then back to itself. Go into here. Grab this one, give it a little bit of a stretch, and back to itself. Going through here, stretch, back to itself, and so on all the way down the loom. So on this side, we'll go in through this cap band, we'll grab this one, and we'll just bring it back to itself. Just like that. Okay? The next one, you'll go in through here. Make sure you're going in through that black uh, band going across. Grab this one, pull it out just a little bit to give it some stretch and then back to itself. Into here, a little bit of a stretch, back to itself, go back in here, a little bit of a stretch, back to itself. Okay, so you can finish that all the way to the end. You're done with that, then we need to um, do these uh, zigzag going up. So basically, oops, well, 
you know what? I think what I'm going to need to do is... Yeah, I'm going to need a, um, a triple cap band right there. I wasn't sure what I was doing, but I think I got it. I need a triple cap band there because we're going to just do the zigzag going straight up. So you need to go in through here and just follow your zigzags up. Super simple. Okay, do the same thing over here. And just follow this pattern all the way up to the end. Okay, and then all we have is our border and we can get this puppy off the lay. Finish that up, now it's just the border and I do believe you know how to do a border, simple border. So I'm going to get a band and put a triple cap band on there. And you're going to go in through here and just follow it all the way around and up to the top until you come to the center. And then you're going to stop, get a band ready, and get a c-clip handy and then I'll meet you at the top to take it off of the loom. Okay, so finish your border, meet me at the top, c-clip and a band and boom, we'll get it off. I'm up towards the top. I got my band like I promised and I'm going to put my hook through all the bands. Put the band on my hook. Put it on the hook. Just like so and I lied do you know why I lied I do not have a C clip handy I sat and told you guys to be prepared and now I'm not prepared okay look at all these C clips and this is only a third not even a third that's only a smidge of all the C-clips I have. I don't even know what to do with them. Okay. So anyhow, right there, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off because I don't have my other hook handy, but it's all secured. You can look on the side and make sure everything has been loomed up. Not that it's gonna matter because you can't do anything about it anyhow, but there you go. So all we're gonna do is take it off the loom. So you're just gonna Loosen the tension on one side, loosen the tension on the other side, and always use a hook. Don't ever use your fingers. You don't want to pop any bands, okay? And, and then just go off each individual pin, okay? So I'm going to take mine off the loom, and then I will meet, uh oh, look, I think my band just popped. Look. I think my, I don't know if this is just a spare piece or if my band actually did pop. Look, we're going to find out. It looks a little thin to be a full band. So anyhow, I'm going to take this off the loom and then we'll see what it turns out to look like. And I'll meet you back it off the loom. Look how pretty. Lots of bands that I'm going to need to, but I, I always stretch it out this way first. Just give it a good stretch so the bands will pop into place. And go this way as well and um, that's why I say put beads on it because they're not just dangling they're in there pretty sturdy but they're um, and what you want to do is you want to end up not using your fingernail but pushing the beads to the center of the band so that it looks a lot nicer kind of like this well kind of want to make it even like that and I've got a lot of bands that I need to um, to fix because this gray there's gold on the other side of this gray and I want to go ahead and, and fix those colors but anyhow this is and also slide your beads 
to the center of the band so they're not laying the way they're laying here unless you just like that look. But I just take them and I use my fingers. The only part I have my nail on is the bead, not the band. I've sliced too many beads that or bands that way. But I just pick it up and slide it to the center of the band so that it's going to have a nice um, nice look about it when it's done. So you figure you have this instead of this side. So that's the side I'm trying to go for. And I'm going to fix all my beads, untwist all my bands. But that there you have it. This is the Elizabeth bracelet. And I'm going to put a nice little charm in the center and it's going to look really pretty. So um, this is the other side of it. Just in case you wanted to see that. And uh, I'm hoping that you decide to make one. If you do, could you tag and hashtag your renditions to Artists and Loom? And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be super duper. And um, my Facebook and um, is Artists and Loom Bead Queen if you'd like to um, follow me there. Okay, well, happy holidays. Take care.